Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to talk about updating the firmware on your ILS command. So how do we know if we do need to update the firmware? Well, when you power on your ILS command, you'll be able to see it in the bottom left when it powers on, it'll say V1 dot and two numbers. What we're looking for is 1.22. This one is set to firmware 1.21. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the X encoder here and then at the top left is actually gonna tell us right there, version 1.21. So we know we need to update the firmware. So what you're gonna do is go to your web browser, type in Chauvet DJ ILS command. And then from there, once you get on the Chauvet DJ websites, you'll scroll down to downloads, click on downloads, and then click on the icon firmware updates, open up your downloads, folder and then you'll see two files one of the actual firmware and the second is a pdf instruction manual of how to do it and in the table you'll see here is the versions the dates and the descriptions of all of the past firmware updates that have been released along with uh, what their descriptions were for that firmware update. So we're gonna change our command from 1.21 to 1.22, and that's gonna fix a bug, and we're gonna be ready to rock and roll here in just a few minutes. So next up, what you'll need is a thumb drive that is less than 32 gigabytes. It's formatted to FAT32, and make sure that there's nothing on there in terms of past firmwares for the ILS command and no folders, files, or photos that have nothing to pertain to this firmware update. Now we have our file and we also have our formatted USB drive. Make sure your USB drive is connected to your computer and then open up that file for your firmware. You're gonna click and copy that over to your thumb drive. Make sure you have your ILS command powered up and then you're gonna click the X encoder. You're gonna to go to your settings. You're gonna scroll all the way down to system update. You're gonna to wanna to click yes, should start going into upload mode. Then you're gonna see in the yellow writing, it'll say insert USB thumb drive. Make sure you plug that into the back of the command. And then the command will do its thing and automatically start updating and uploading the firmware. Once that is done, then it will say you can disconnect, it'll reset itself, and then you can unplug that, and then you are set and ready to rock and roll. And that's it, your ILS command is now all up to date with the current firmware, so you're ready to rock and roll for your next event or wedding. We'll see you in the next video, take care.